What's up, everybody? This is Jack from Crypto 49er, bringing you my knowledge in cryptocurrency. Today, I want to talk about the Gecko trading bot and how to troubleshoot error messages. Every so often, Gecko will show you an error message that doesn't tell you much information or just doesn't make any sense. Or even if it does make sense, sometimes you just don't know what to do with it. So, for example, let's take a look at this message right over here that I just ran and I just got. So, once I started Gecko, it told me this error message failed to load indicator. So in this case, in this particular error message, it is not fatal. It did not crash Gecko. It still works fine. And actually, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this error message in the past and just didn't know what to do with it, just left it alone or eventually figure out a way to fix this issue. I mean, I fixed this issue in the past and I'm kind of OCD. I don't really like to see error messages. So... The way I fixed it in the past is literally go into the indicators folder because it says fail to low indicator, right? So I go into the indicators folder and I actually moved half the indicators out, rerun Gecko and to see if the error happened again. If not, then I would move the problem batch in and then move the other batch out and then divide and do like a divide and conquer process until I actually get to a point where I only have like two or three indicators I know are bad and I go in to see exactly what's going on. So that's how I was able to solve this error message before. But there's a much better way to do it than literally going through this divide and conquer process. I mean, think about it. It's 25 indicators I have in here. You don't really have that many on a usual basis. I just do a whole bunch of other indicators I got. Um, but with 25 indicators, you're talking about like you have to run this probably like five or six times to really get down to determining which indicator is causing the problem. There's a much better way to do this. And I'm going to show you how to do that using Visual Studio Code. So if you guys are not familiar with setting up Gecko to run via Visual Studio Code, definitely watch this previous video I had here, Gecko Trading Bot Debug via Visual Studio Code. It will help you understand the setup process. So anyway, going back into the Gecko Trading Bot in here. So I already have it set up. So all I have to do is literally just run the debug process. So you can see in here it's running. And I'll see again, I'll have the same error message. I actually highlight it in red so you can see it failed to load indicator. So I'm getting an error message, same exact error message. So how do I figure out what's causing this problem? So I'm going to stop it right now. The simplest way is Gecko, literally every error message you get is coming from somewhere, right? A developer wrote this error message. So what you can do is find where that error message is coming from and then determine what's going on. So in this case here, it says fail to low indicator. So I literally, I can just go in and say, let me go and copy this error message. And then from here, I can say, go to edit find in files and it'll find this error message in all the files within my project for Gecko. So in here it finds that the base trading method is the, the JavaScript file for this is where this error message is stored. So I'm going to click on this to open it and I'll show you right exactly where it is, log the error and it's supposed to tell you the indicator name as you see right here in the, in the message itself. It's failed to load indicator, indicator name. For some reason my error message is not showing an indicator name. So what's going on? The simplest way is just to put a breakpoint right here. And then you can have Gecko load to the point where when you get to that error message, figure out what is going on. So I put on the breakpoint like I just shown you right here. Just click on the gutter over here and the little red dot appears. So and then I'm just going to run the debug process again. And then stop the right here. So now I'm going to go back into this debug view to see other variables. And then the watch field, you can have some other watch fields, some of the watch stuff in here. You can get rid of it just using that. And then click on the plus sign to type in the new watch field. So in this case, I'm going to type in indicator name. And it shows me, oh, then the indicator name is blank. So literally, that doesn't help much still, right? So, But it shows you that the reason why it's not loading the indicator name is because the indicator name is blank. So that tells you that there's a blank indicator. So... But that doesn't quite make sense, right? There's like, you know, I mean, I, you can see the files I have in here. Every file has a name. So it doesn't make sense why there's a blank indicator name here. 
So you can actually go through the variables too, and you can see a little more information. Maybe you go to the local variables and you see, hey, look at this, local indicator dot ds store. And then the indicator name is blank. Then you can see, wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, for people that have a Mac, and this one I'm running on right now, a Mac, the ds store file is pretty obvious what it is actually. If you type in ds store, you're going to find that there's actually a file what is the store file on Mac and how to delete it, for example, in this article here. So they tell you basically what it is is it's a file that the Finder application used to store like different um, information about like the icon positions, the window size, shapes, so on and so forth. So it's absolutely safe to delete this file unless, of course, you need to keep this information for whatever reason. Maybe you prefer a certain settings for your Finder, but otherwise you can delete this. And it is pretty much the reason why that I'm getting this error message because what's going on is that if you look through the process, Gecko is running through all the indicator files. It says dot each indicator file because function indicator. So it's going through every one of these indicator files and it's trying to load them. And then when it fails to load them, it's going to catch it and it says fail to load indicator. So what's happening here is that none of these files are causing this particular error message. It is actually a hidden file that is causing this error message. And this hidden file is it's not only something that had that they have on the Mac. Windows have it too. I and mean, then Windows has a different file. It's called thumbs.db that I'm sure a lot of you Windows users have experienced before where this file doesn't delete or so on and so forth. It's always a pain. And even though I don't run Gecko on Windows, I do have it, but I don't really run it often. I'm sure this will probably cause the same problem too. This thumbs.db file will probably cause the same problem will cause this error message fail to low indicator. So I'm pretty sure these two files will cause this problem. So in this case here, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to delete this file and rerun it and how it will solve the problem. And literally in this article in here that I found online, they tell you the simplest way, obviously you could use their software, but you could do also delete manually by going into the folder and just type in find.name dot, dot store dash type f delete. And pretty much I'm just going to copy this here and paste it into my indicators folders. And this runs it and deletes that DS store file because anything with a dot in front of it is a hidden file for Mac and Linux platforms. Now that I deleted that file, I can go ahead and run this again and that error should go away. So I can actually just, I'm, I'm just gonna do it right here in terminal to show you guys. Okay, so run it and now look at this. The file, that error message, it's gone. So it's just that simple. It's one of those things where it's very easy to troubleshoot an error message if you know how to find it and from that point on know which file is causing that error message and then go from there and try to fix it. But once you get it, and in my case here, I was able to find it from the variables that there's a file called DS store that Gecko is trying to load that it's not that it shouldn't be trying to load. I was able to find that and I was able to delete that file and I was able to resolve that issue. This method doesn't only work for this particular error. I actually had another error in the past. I'm just going to show you here. I unfortunately didn't have a screen captured, but I actually have this other error here with um, the remote control te uh, with Telegram that I made a little while back. And what happened was inside the subscription file, you can see it too, I already um, put in a fix for it. But originally what I had was I had brackets. I'm going to show you this here. So I actually have brackets around the emitter. So it's a bracket uh, around um, the emitter Telegram bot. And literally what was happening was I was getting this error message where the trading advisor was saying, trading advisor wanted to, to listen to blank. Didn't tell me what it was because it couldn't load it. And it doesn't show the name of the emitter. So it just say trading, trading emitter uh, couldn't load blank and I think some other stuff. But then literally I was getting this warning message. It wasn't an error message, but... It was still annoying enough to like just wondering what is causing this problem. And I used this exact same process of just using Visual Studio Code, debugging, putting a breakpoint in right in this area. Actually, not, not in this particular area, but I think I was putting it in the want to listen to the. So literally, I could just go copy in here again. Again, edit, find in place, find in files. Once I got into here, I was able to see which plugin it was trying to load, and I was able to see that hey, under the, it was loading the Telegram bot. And I was like wondering, huh, that's how I realized at that point that it's probably one of my modifications I did with the Telegram bot that's causing this issue. 
and then I eventually remember that why is there uh, brackets around the emitter for Telegram bot in the subscription file and then I was able to go in there and just removed it so the current version doesn't have those brackets in here and that's why once I removed it I got the error message that I needed it did tell me at that point in time was telling me trading advisor was trying to listen to Telegram bot but it wasn't enabled and now just able to resolve the issue that way. But this shows you that you can troubleshoot error messages in Gecko without having to like, I mean, the obvious way is just to Google for help or to post on forums, post on Gecko forum or post on the Gecko Discord channel asking people for help. But the, the, the forum takes like days to get response or the Discord channel, people just ignore you completely, right? So this is one way where you can actively try to figure out what your problem is based on the error message that you got. So anyway guys, that's my video for today. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining, it isn't worth speculating. Peace out.